Hello, Bobby Shaw here. Um, I was working on a project and it got me thinking about colors on uh, a painting. And I wanted to share something with you. I wanted to discuss about black. Uh, this is ivory black. And a lot of people have asked, how do you make black? Because if you use straight black on something like a landscape, it really takes away the depths of it. It's kind of like a color that just, I don't know, it just sort of makes the painting more dull by putting black right on anything that you want to do, like a landscape or a portrait. Now, I will, this is a big tub of black, and I rarely use it on my my artwork, but why would I have such a big container. I actually use this because I'm too cheap. I will paint my canvases black if I want a black canvas or I would this would be appropriate if you want to do like an illustration or cartooning. There is sometimes where black is actually the better choice but when you're doing like a landscape I try to avoid ivy black as much as possible. So I will make my own black by mixing colors and I want to show you how to do that. You should, if you're doing oil or acrylic, these should be, two of these colors should be one of your backbone, two of these backbones of your palette. This is, I don't know if I'm trying to, burnt umber. And this is ultramarine blue, okay? So you would take about half of each. I'm going to try to do this one-handed because I don't have my tripod right now. So you, well, that's a lot, but... You would do ultramarine and burnt umber. There we go. So what you do, you will take about half of each. and mix it up. Now if you find it's too brown or too blue, you could just add whatever color you need to it. It's not going to be a true black, but it will actually serve as a really nice black for your landscapes. But it will it's not a dull black. It will And it will have like a tint of blue and brown to it. You can see that looks pretty black. And that's just with ultramarine and burnt umber. Now if you add a little white to this, you know, you'll see other colors come out. But um, it's really nice for blending to make it look more natural. I want to see if I can add some weight here. Actually, I, have some, I was just painting. I'm just going to grab my messy palette here. I take a little bit of white. You can see it's like gray. So it's like a real black. You actually will make gray out of it. But it's not so, there is some color to it. So that's what you would do if you would like to make your own black. You would use ultramarine and burnt umber, half and half. Make, make sure you mix the amount you need because um, you might not get the exact every time. If you're lazy and you want something quick in a pinch and you don't want to mix but you don't want ivory black, what I like to use, and I don't use, I don't know many artists use this. This is called Payne's Gray. It's a very, very, very dark gray. It's kind of got like a blue tint to it. But I will use this sometimes. It's really dark. And sometimes I will use this as a turn to turn it into black. So I'm going to take, just to show you what the difference. See, it's pretty dark. 
this will have more of a, I don't know, it's going to have a little different look than what we mixed. I got a little brown there, sorry. So this has more of a blue tint, not a, a little bit, but it's pretty much going to give you the same effect either or. So if you are like to mix colors, you know, the blue and the brown, ultramarine, blue and umber, and if you want to be lazy, use the paints gray. <laughs> All right, so happy mixing. All right, thanks.